Hey everyone, and welcome back to AI Economist. Stability AI finally released their Stable Diffusion 3 medium weights, and I'll show you how to correctly use it on Comfy UI. But hold on, because what I'm about to share isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Stick around to find out why this model, despite all the hype, might actually be a bit disappointing. So, Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is Stability AI's most advanced image generation model yet. This model is called a Multimodal Diffusion Transformer, or MMDIT, which is a fancy way of saying it's really good at turning text descriptions into high-quality images. So, what makes this model special? Well, they claim it has significantly improved performance in areas like image quality, typography, understanding complex prompts, and it's much more efficient with resources. It's important to note that Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is released under the Stability Non-Commercial Research Community License. This means it's free to use for non-commercial purposes like academic research. But if you want to use it commercially, you'll need to get a separate license from Stability AI. So what can you do with this model? You can create artworks, use it in design projects, educational tools, and even research generative models. However, it's not intended for creating factual representations of real people or events. Now, let's break down the differences between the three weight models for Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. The Stable Diffusion 3 Medium model comes in three different packaging variants to cater to diverse user needs. The first variant, SD3 Medium Dot Safe Tensors, includes the core multimodal diffusion transformer, MDIT, and variational autoencoder, VAE, weights but does not come with any text encoders. This version is ideal for users who prefer the flexibility of integrating their own text encoders, or for those who handle text encoding separately. The second variant, SD3 Medium INCL Clips T5XL FP8 dot safe tensors, contains all the necessary weights, including the FP8, floating point 8-bit version of the T5XXL text encoder. This version strikes a balance between quality and resource efficiency, making it suitable for users who need a well-rounded model that delivers high-quality image generation without overly taxing computational resources. Finally, the third variant, SD3 Medium INCL Clips .safe Tensors, includes all necessary weights except for the T5 XXL text encoder. This version is designed for minimal resource usage, although it sacrifices some performance quality due to the absence of the T5 XXL text encoder. These checkpoint models should be placed in Comfy UI directory inside models folder, inside checkpoints folder, same where we usually put our SD 1.5 and SDXL models. Next, the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium model utilizes three fixed pre-trained text encoders to convert text prompts into meaningful representations for generating images. These encoders are Clip VITG, a version of Clip contrastive language image pre-training that pairs images with their corresponding text descriptions, enabling the model to understand and generate images based on textual input effectively. Clip VITL. Another variant of Clip, optimized for large-scale vision tasks, enhancing the model's ability to handle more complex and detailed image generation tasks. T5 XXL, a large-scale text-to-text transfer transformer model, T5, that processes and understands complex and nuanced text prompts, contributing significantly to the accuracy and quality of the generated images. These text encoders work together to ensure that Stable Diffusion 3 Medium can accurately interpret and translate text descriptions into high-quality images. So, we need to download all these models and place them in Comfy UI's Models folder inside Clip folder. Now when you finish downloading the models, Update Comfy UI to the latest version using the manager or by running the bat file inside the update folder. All right, let's load the SD3 example workflows. First, let's load the first JSON file to understand the basic workflow. In the load checkpoint node, we need to load one of the three models we downloaded earlier. In the triple clip loader, we load clip G and clip L. Here, you can choose between T5 XXL FP8 and FP16. Next, we have the input area, where we write prompts and set the image dimensions. 
All these nodes connect to a K sampler with 28 steps and a 4.5 CFG, using the sampler DPM++2M. Plus plus now, let's generate the default prompt and see if everything works fine. SD3 is working properly. It took an RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM about 30 seconds to generate the image. It seems the minimum requirement is 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I know many of you had high expectations for SD3. When you start generating images, you'll notice that the current SDXL models look much better. Additionally, the non-commercial license of SD3 will prevent many fine-tuners from working on it.